Welcome back to Power Slap Entertainment, where we... I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh, you're not even good enough to be I'll my I'll make you eat those words! Ladies and gentlemen, something hilarious has been going on in the quote-unquote animation community, and I feel it's my duty to talk about it before Keemstar gets here. Lately, there has been accusations being thrown around about certain people tracing their artwork. Certainly not myself, as much as you haters think that I traced the great Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm talking about the animation channel, Fox Goodman. Now, who is Fox Goodman, you may ask? Well, he's basically an Odd Ones Out super fan that traces work and launched his own YouTube channel. Another YouTuber named Daft Pina Coladas made a popular video exposing him for tracing, which Fox later admitted to doing in his response video. Fox Goodman, do you trace? Yes. Obviously. Personally, I don't see a problem with tracing for the sake of making videos, as long as it's original. Hell, you can make content just by using two JPEGs. Boy, I got one question for you. What are those? Hey, where's your backbone? Okay, I'm done with this skit. The problem lies in monetizing an image, claiming it as your own, and making a profit off of it. The best way I can describe this is like, the difference between Weird Al making a parody song of Michael Jackson, and somebody pretending to be Michael Jackson. I initially felt bad for Fox. He was making original content, albeit not that great, and was being judged for stupid things like not citing his sources when he used clip art from Google Images. Like, come on, do you think that the person who made this PNG of a plunger wants to be cited? This is a YouTube video, not an APA research paper. Plus, I'm nothing without my PNGs. The problem I have with Fox bad man, haha, <laughs> easy joke, springs up when it comes to how he handles criticism. The main theory being that he created the second channel in order to make more ad revenue, and that this trace drawing of the odd ones out camera links them together. One of the most notable assets is the fact that they use the same camera traced in the odd ones out's videos. Although I disagree with the ad revenue part, it'd be much easier to gain traction uploading more videos to one channel. The camera part, along with their similar intros, had me convinced. Add into that the fact that both of them frequently appear in comment sections together, and the fact that Daft Pina pulled out a spectrogram linking both of their voices together, and everything seems to make sense. Now if I were Fox Goodman, what I would respond with would be, Nah dog, I'm not Matt Spicer. You guys are blowing this out of proportion. I just like making videos for fun. Plus here's a video of me and Matt hanging out and saying words. That's it. But somehow, he managed to make the situation even worse. And this is where things get hilarious. Not only did he deny the accusations, he basically deflected the question by calling the evidence pointless. For all the tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists out there who rely on stuff like the spectrogram and comparing frequencies, it's 100% false. Your Honor, I did not commit the murder. Just because there's eyewitness testimony and blood samples doesn't mean that I did anything. Those detectives are just haters and all of my real jurors will support me. I'll kill you! I'll kill you if you disagree with me! It gets even better. Fox Goodman calls out the world's greatest conspiracy theorist. I am putting out an open challenge to the biggest conspiracy theorist out there, and he knows who he is. By which he means Daft Pina, and challenges him to find undeniable proof that he is Matt Spicer. The end result being that he will delete his channel if he succeeds. First of all, how dare you disrespect Shane Dawson like that? And second of all, did I forget to mention that he wants $100,000 to pull this off? That's not a joke, watch the video. This is why I want to raise $100,000 out of this GoFundMe. Have you ever heard of Skype? <laughs> he says that the money would also be used to start doing free giveaways for subscribers, but I don't think he understands the meaning of the word free. That's like if I went to my local Cardenas and some lady was giving away free cheese samples, and when I was halfway through eating the cheese, she slapped the cheese out of my hand and said, give me $100. <laughs> that was too intense. We're not talking about $100. We're not talking about $10,000, we're talking about 100,000 moolops. I could buy a mansion in Detroit and be next door neighbors with Eminem. He could feature on my album. To his defense though, I haven't seen a link to his GoFundMe page, so maybe he just forgot or he just said that to get attention. Which is genius since you clicked on this video and I felt passionate enough to make it. 
That would also help to explain why he wants staff to make a response video and wants the other ones out to desperately comment on the situation. But we're forgetting about the most important person's opinion about this whole entire thing. And that's the odd ones out himself. Which I don't think he has to. The dude is making kids happy with his book. This is for smaller, dirty YouTubers that are trying to get money to buy a Nintendo Switch. All that... <laughs> this is too real. Nobody expose me. All that I really want answered is whether or not they're the same person and for him to switch up his art style a little bit. Just like he did in his response video. Hell, I'm a nice guy too, so I'll do a face reveal for half the amount of money. $50,000? I got you. And I'll be giving away daily Virtual Boy consoles as well. With all that being said, how do you feel about... <laughs> how do you feel about Fox Goodman? Is he Matt Spicer? Should he be forced to change his art style? Am I secretly both of them manipulating everything behind the scenes so that I can afford a Nintendo Switch? Leave it in the comment. And don't forget to like the video or else a clone of you will replace you in your sleep in purely speaking outdated memes. Damn, Daniel. Oh my god, no.